Hello, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Yancey here. Thank you for joining me, all right? So, for any new people that are joining me, welcome. For all of my friends from back in the day, because that's how I'm gonna say it, my friends and family from back in the day, welcome back, all right? Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. If you are watching, and this is your first time watching, Yancy here, and I review luxury bags, I unbox um, luxury items, um, throwing in some vlogging, some house things, luxury life lifestyle this is what this channel is all about and if that interests you then go ahead and subscribe all right so you can follow along and see my everyday occurrence and what i'm doing and like i said there's so much going on i've said in videos before and i'm gonna say it again there's so much happening right now um with the house and everything like that so everyone thank you for all this congratulatory wishes everything i'm so grateful so happy all right so if you want to see that, if you want to come along with everything, the journey, the decorating, everything, then subscribe, all right? You guys are already watching. For anybody who's out there, you're already watching. You might as well just push the button, whatever it might be. All right, so this video, I actually recorded like a while back. All right, but I didn't like the lighting. Hopefully the lighting is better, but it will get so much better once we move or whatever like that. But for right now, I'm still enjoying the space. I'm gonna use it because that's just what I'm gonna do. All right, so listen, if you can see it, which I know you can, hopefully it's looking <laughs> the right way on camera, but you guys know what to do, all right? If you can go ahead and vote early, vote early. If you can only vote literally on the third, then just go ahead and vote on the third. Make it a party, bring your girlfriends, boyfriends, husband, wife, kids, let them see the process or whatever like that. Um, because it's your right and everybody has a right to vote and everybody should vote and use their voice and let it be heard. So, you know, quick little inked it out, however you say it or whatever like that. But basically, um, I, I don't take this for granted. I really do not. Um, and the reason why is because my parents, family members, everyone that is in my life, um, all of the older generation, they are all immigrants. They immigrated from Africa, from Liberia. And I hold that very, very dear to my heart because my parents, they literally moved here. They worked so hard to get to where they were. My dad um, and my mom both got their citizenship and my dad became an engineer, my mom became a nurse, and they just put all of that effort into just making a better life for us, the kids. And I know the one thing my dad always wanted to do once he became a citizen was vote because he just felt like it was important, and it is. And I learned that from him, he taught me a lot. We talked about politics, we talked about religion, we talked about everything. Um, so I know he was extremely happy. He told me from day one, vote, 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 vote. That's how you get your voice heard, all right? So I'm telling you guys, either which way, my PSA for today, go ahead and do that, all right? All right, okay, so this video, like I said before, you guys, I literally recorded this video. Didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm gonna record it again. And it is gonna be my one year, really right now, the one year and a half review on my Chanel Duville tote, all right? I love this bag. I have used this bag religiously. I'm, I mean, like, to the point of I need, like, another one, but I like the bag. Of course, every single bag that I have is gonna have its pros, gonna have its cons, and it is what it is. You know, it really just depends on what you have, what you love, and what you kind of use your bag for. So, either which way, I keep looking because the bag is sitting right there, and it's so cute, and it's so pretty, and I love the bag. So. I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm just gonna get into the review. I'm gonna tell you guys about it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and if I would buy it again, all right? All right, let's go. Okay, you guys, so the bag in question is going to be, like I said, my cute little Chanel Duville tote. So yes, as you can see, this bag is huge, but I love huge bags. I love tote bags. I'm a tote bag girl. I've always loved tote bags and I think if I saw a tote and I saw like a mini bag and I saw like you know another bag I'll probably always run to the tote bag because I just feel like you can put so much in here so yes it is completely stuffed 
right now. So I'm gonna take that out so you can actually see. So you can't really see because it is dark inside. So the color of this one is going to be like your gray and black. Um, but again, it's more so on that gray side, of course, with the gray lettering and everything like that. So with this Duville, I purchased this November 18th, 2018. I got my notes, so I know for sure. And I got that receipt. So <laughs> either which way, I purchased this bag in Orlando because that's just where I had to go to get um, this particular bag because we don't actually have a Chanel boutique where I live. Um, they have it in the mall itself, but it's like sectioned in, I believe it's Neiman Marcus, if I'm not mistaken. But they have a few bags there. They don't have like a variety. Whereas if you go to the actual Chanel boutique, you'll see like a lot more um, bags to your liking. So either which way, I knew for a fact that I definitely wanted this particular bag. Didn't want a flap right away. Didn't want a mini or anything like that. I just wanted this bag because I like the totes. Um, and I like the fact that it had um, various ways to actually wear it. Not that many, but I like what it had. All right. So either which way, I'm going to start off with the dimensions. All right. The dimensions of this bag are going to be 17 and a half inches in width. You have 13 inches in length and seven inches in depth. So it's a really big bag, you guys, really big bag. Um, so this bag holds a lot. Normally what I do is I actually put um, an organizer in here. So everything is not just kind of like one big deep abyss to nothing. Um, plus I really like things to be organized. I really, really, truly adore organizers. I think they're the best thing ever. Um, if you can get one, doesn't matter where you get it from, literally just put a bag organizer in there and you'll be good to go and you will never look back so i probably have one samorga bag organizer and the rest are all from amazon and all of my amazon organizers have done me well no issues no problems whatsoever so you know if you can literally just kind of like hold off on buying like the really expensive organizer i say do so um because again it's held up there's no holes in them or anything like that you know you have like some felt some dirt i just kind of like lint it out and i'm good to go um the one thing i will say is that this bag itself though does have some pockets so you have it to wear zip pocket right there and you have a and you have a slip pocket, two slip pockets right here, right there. So the bag is spacious. It's really good. I normally kind of just wear it either on the crook of my arm. Most of the time I always just hold it just like that. Or as you can see, I'll lift up the chain detail and I'll just put it right on my arm, just like this. So it's really cute. And that's actually what I really liked about the DeVille tote. Um, you guys know that I have the Louis Vuitton on the go. It also has the same um, strap detail, not the chain per se, but it has a canvas handle. Um, but either which way, it has the two different handles. So you have the top handle and you also have the longer strap. So I like that because once your hand starts to get tired holding it, if it starts to get heavy, you can always put it on your shoulder. Um, the one thing I will say is that, yes, we all know that this bag is expensive, um, really expensive. All right. <laughs> However, it really just depends on your preference, on your choice, because a lot of people will probably steer away from getting this particular bag. And the reason why is because for the price itself, you only have the lamb skin up on the handles and that's it. Everything else is that raffia detail. Um, and then of course you have that woven detail with the cloth because it's not leather that intertwines into the chain detail. So either which way, it really just depends on you, what you want, what you want to wear, um, whether it be your first bag from Chanel. Um, this actually was my first bag from Chanel and again, I would do it again. I like this bag, probably do it in a different color. But so, again, kind of just showing you some more bits and pieces with the bag itself. It is a snap closure. I mean, I really don't use it. 
because it really just doesn't bother me. Um, if anything, I just always have it close to me, either close like this or using the bag and it's kind of like close to my arm. So I never have any issues or anything like that. And if it's ever wide open, I always just put a nice little scarf over everything and it's completely covered. So and that's why it's really just so clean because I don't just put everything in there like that. I always use my um, organizer. So, all right, so with this particular bag, like I said, I bought it 2018 and this is part of the 19C Cruise Collection. Um, with this particular one, I don't think they have this anymore. You can probably go on a secondhand website, you know, pre-loved website and probably buy it. Um, otherwise, if you get it, it'll probably be leather or something like that, all leather. So it is gonna be a little bit more. Um, again, I liked the Raffia detail because I felt like it was gonna be a little bit more durable because you know with the leather it's going to be like that lambskin leather um so it's going to get scratched a little bit easier and i didn't want that um but i liked this little collection i like the colorway i liked the gray on the lettering and it was just everything for me if you wanted to you can always turn it around to be a little bit more discreet um but again if you start to see like the chain detail you'll automatically know it's a deville Okay, so when it comes to the strap itself, you're gonna have 3.75 inches in a drop right here. I mean, this bag can literally fit my forearm, so I'm good with that. And the strap itself is actually 11.75 inch drop. All right, so it's definitely gonna fit on your shoulder. You're not gonna have any issues whatsoever. Um, and I never have, so. I have broad shoulders, it fits. I think the one thing I was nervous about is if the chain itself digs into your arm. And I've had several bags before, smaller than this, and the chain detail actually digs into my arm. This, I never have an issue with, so I don't have any problem with that. I mean, I don't know how other people, you know, feel about it, but for me, for me, I don't have any problems with it digging into my arm. Um, I wear it, <laughs> I pack it, and no issues whatsoever, so. I'm good to go. Um, the one thing I do like, of course, that you will see, I'm gonna bring a little bit closer. You see all of the detailing in the knots. You have the Chanel 31 Rue Cambone, and that is the birthplace of Chanel as far as like the boutique, <laughs> all right? Um, but either which way, yeah, I got mine in Orlando, I drove few hours just to go and get this. Um, they could have easily just like sent it to me, but I wanted to be there and see if it was something that I really liked, wanted to try it on, and I did. This is my only Duville. I do have a double flap. I really adore that. Um, and I'll probably do like a whole review on that one as well, but all right. So the wear on this bag, well, I'm gonna try to see if you can see it right there, right there. So that I don't like. I think you can see a little bit at the bottom. You can see some right here, right here, right there. So it's kind of like, you know, right there. So you have it where it's darker here, a little bit more of like some raffia threading that's coming through probably. So I don't know if that's something that's fixable. Um, if so, then I will definitely take it in. If not, it is what it is. I'm gonna just take better care of it um, and just be a little bit extra careful. But otherwise, it's held up nicely. I do still love the bag, um, everything about it. You have this little key hook that's attached to it. So I do like that. And like I said, the only thing is just for the price itself and not being lambskin, you know, it's overpriced. But I mean, for the most part, the only two cons that I have is the material when it comes to wear, wish it wore a little bit better, and then the price. It could just be a little bit cheaper. I'm just saying, that is really just it, you guys. That is my review. I love the bag. You guys tell me if you have it. Let me know if anybody does have the Chanel Duville. What do you think about it? How do you like it? Do you have the leather? Do you have the raffia? Um, do you have both? And if you do, how do you feel about one over the other? All right, so that's it. Yeah, I love the bag. 
once we move i'm going to definitely kind of like stuff this more and just kind of put it in my closet and just have it sitting out there that way i can easily just grab it because as of right now the way i have it stored it's in the dust bag it's in the box and i just kind of like put it up and i think you guys saw like a picture of that quick little closet um that i showed you of where i have it and that's what's in that box this right here so yeah that's it <laughs> that is my review on my chanel duville tote so that is it subscribe click the bell come on back and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye